Hello and welcome to the Mercury Vapor Glow channel. Today I have for you this gorgeous design from the 80s, the Philips SGS 201. The little version, there was also a larger version of this fixture. This one has a Mercury Vapor 80 watts bulb in it. Maybe we start showing the probably embossed Philips logo here. Or the top of the fixture really nice even if i had to paint the fixture because of the glass fibers uh, in it not to get the itch when i want to touch it every time you can still see the outline of the logo really well then uh, the fixture has a lamp compartment with a non-prismatic bowl here made for plastic this bowl actually uh, does not guide the light in any way, shape or form because it lacks any prismatics. It's just for corrosion protection of um, the lamp compartment and uh, the reflector that's inside. To open up the lamp compartment, we will need a screwdriver. This fixture needs uh, tools to do almost anything. So we insert the screwdriver here and hold down on the latch. And now, when we take the latch off, we can open the bowl up and show the inside of this fixture here. So here we have our reflector that is in really good shape still. Our bulb, here it's an Osram 80 watt made still in Germany, used mercury vapor bulb. And on the top here, there's the sticker that you unfortunately cannot read anything anymore on this sticker. That uh, would be for the lamp compartment. This uh, lamp compartment is not very huge. It looks bigger on camera than it's in real life actually. This fixture was available up to a maximum of 200, uh, sorry, 125 watt mercury vapor. So the lamp compartment would not have to be this extremely huge. So let's close this up and briefly go over the compartment uh, here. The gear compartment is held on by two screws and it's a little hard to do with one hand, but let's just take it off to be able to show you the insides which are really really simple there is a connection block on this side here the cable comes in from the mast and on this side you have the very simple ballast here it's a one tap ballast it's only for 80 watt mercury vapor bulbs you cannot change this one to 125 or 50 watt mercury vapor so really easy fixture you mount it to the arm here via this one screw and that's basically it uh, on the down portion there under the connection block you have a capacitor for power factor correction so it's a correctly simply built european mercury vapor fixture i'd say not very complicated but these never fail these are made to last a long long time so i will put down the camera here for a short period so that i can reattach this not very handy actually piece of equipment here where i need to at least grab on both of the screws so that it doesn't fall out in any way, shape or form while we are filming the startup, which we will be doing here very, very soon. Okay, the screws have grabbed on the threads a little bit so it doesn't fall out. And uh, well, I'd say the time is coming for starting up this gorgeous fixture here. Let's plug it in. Uh, the ballast on this fixture is actually pretty interesting. You will hear 
that it does. It's really, really loud. And this fixture doesn't seem to have worked that much. I don't know why the balance is that loud on it. So, let's hear it. This ballast actually gets less loud when it is uh, when the lamp is warmed up. It gets a lot less loud, but at startup, you can really hear that you have a magnetically ballasted fixture here. It's already getting a little less loud because the wall is warming up. I actually do have a lot of other mercury vapor fixtures and. These tend to make more noise at startup than when they are warmed up and running. But like this one is pretty extreme example for that. So again, you can see here, although it does not have any prismatics, this uh, really simple two-piece reflector design by Philips is quite effective for guiding the light here uh, along the street. There's a not light, less light emitted, for example, here across the street. Most of the light is going down or along the street. This fixture, as it does not have this prismatic bowl, works pretty much as a cutoff fixture and not much light does um, escape upwards. Which means that this uh, fixture is already pretty modern in its uh, design and well thought through. I'd say. You may recognize this reflector was used also in the predecessor of this fixture. For example, the HRP10, HRP11 and 12 fixtures too. That was the three sizes that used such a reflector too. The ballast now is pretty quiet. You don't hear much of the hum anymore as the lamp is getting bright. It's almost like a full brightness right now. To the history of these fixtures, I can say that they were mostly a child of the 80s. They were made mostly in the 80s. I don't know the exact date. I will put it in down below if I find it. But I believe it's from end of the 70s to the 90s where these fixtures were made and of course 80 watt mercury vapor like here was not the only option you also had the option of a 70 watt or a 50 watt high pressure sodium uh, elliptical uh, light bulbs in this or uh, the other option that you had was uh, 125 watt mercury vapor and these were sold actually parallel to the HRP10, the older fixture that was the predecessor of this one, uh, for a short period of time. And uh, there was a bigger version of this fixture that I don't have right now. Maybe one day I can make a video about it too, but the bigger version was available with two bulbs, 80 watt uh, mercury vapor or 70 watt high pressure sodium elliptical bulbs. Or the bigger version was also available with 250 or 400 watt mercury vapor or high pressure sodium elliptical bulbs. So it's the SGS 201 family is a little bigger than just this fixture, but there's only two, uh, two sizes of this fixture compared, for example, to the predecessor that had three sizes, the HRP. So, I personally think this fixture is pretty neat. Now it is fully warmed up. You don't hear the ballast that much anymore.
this bulb gives off a really nice mercury vapor glow. I'd say I put you down for a little bit. I turn the fixture off again. I hope you liked this fixture and this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.